know if people notice or not, but like I'm gonna keep saying, the days of you going up and down in the streets, the days of you going up and down with your car, it's coming to an end, man, right? I don't know if y'all know, you are living in the last days. You're finna see Christ return real soon, right? And who is really ready on that day that Christ is coming back? Who is that good and faithful servant that's waiting for Christ to come back? Because a lot of people say they love Christ, but in works, you deny him. In faith, you even deny him because you don't even believe and even know what he looks like. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter because he told us in the last days there was going to arise false Christ and false prophets. A lot of you people are false prophets. Not even talking about the brothers and the truth. The people that's out here teaching the doctrines of devils are false prophets. If you're not teaching the gospel of who salvation is for, you're not a prophet. You're not telling the truth. You are a liar. You are of your father, the devil. Right? Give me 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Then he last says, a lot of y'all, y'all finna go down here and get the little supplies. It says a gift destroyed the heart, man. A gift destroyed the heart. You're going to go good. You're going to go home with your good. And you're not even going to thank the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to be real. The Lord's the one to tap into their spirit to do that. But nobody's going to admit it. Go ahead and bring that out. It says 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Bring it out. It says, love not the world. The Bible says, love not the world. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. Nothing that is in the world. Right? Don't love nothing that's in the world. Don't love it more than you love your God, man. That's all the most I is talking about. Don't love these things in the world more than you love him. Don't put your trust in these things. Don't idolize these things. Why? Because they're vain. They can drop at any moment. Right? The Lord showed us with that, with the hurricane. Right? The hurricane literally tore that place up. It tore this place up. And y'all still not thinking the most high God that y'all are safe. Read on. It says, if any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you love the lust of the flesh, if you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you, man. Read on. And it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. See, everything that's in the world is the lust of the flesh. Anything that is seen in the world is the lust of the flesh. It's not of the Most High God. Read. And it says, the lust of the flesh of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. It's of the world. God always says, come out of the world. He doesn't want you to dwell in the world because the world is full of sin. The world is going to give you death. We're trying to give you life. Our people want to get death. Hold that and get Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. God already sent and he already said, choose life or choose death. Choose life or choose death. Which one are you going to choose, man? Read what you got. It says, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Go. I call heaven and earth to report this day against you, that I set before you life and death, blessing and curse. The Lord, and curse. Al the Lord already said blessing and what? And curse. And cursing. Life and death, he already said. Who's going to choose life? And it's already a lot of people that choose death every day, unfortunately, man. Death is you going to that lake of fire. Death is you. Your name not written in the book of life, man. Go back to that uh, and read where you left off at. And it says, verse 17, And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. He that doeth the will of God abideth forever. The will of the Most High God is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. The will of God is not you saying that you got free will. Stop twisting the scripture. That's not what it's talking about, man. Give me uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, man. Drop that. Right? The most I got can't say us rule and regulation on what to do, how to make it in these last days. A lot of people don't realize that Christ soon is returning. Read. 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 He's going to tell a lot of people, I never knew you. It works, you deny him and in faith. You don't got faith in him, man. Right? The Lord's going to get him, man, yeah, for scoffing. Him. The Lord said he speaks by the mouth of his holy prophets. The men that you always despise, don't you know that the same thing that we're doing, that's what the prophets of the Bible did? 
Y'all killed the prophets. That is coming real soon. Y'all are gonna, literally Donald Trump said the anti-Semitic people, you're looking at them. That's us, because we are the real Jews. We're not anti-Semitic if we're a real Jew. That's why y'all killed the prophets. That's why y'all killed Christ. Y'all hated Christ because Christ told the truth. And that's what we out here doing, man. Hey, I'm Baptist Church. I'm Okay. Go ahead, bring that out. It says Second Timothy chapter 3, oh, verse it. number 1. I this know also Timothy. that in the last days perilous times shall come. So the Bible says in the last days perilous times shall come, man. In the last days perilous times are coming. That means dangerous times, right? Go ahead. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Men are going to be lovers of their own selves. Men are loving to do what they want to do and not the most like God wants them to do, right? Go ahead. It says, covetous, boastful, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unfaithful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. False accusers. You always false accusing somebody else, man. Oh, yeah. Incontinent, fierce, despises of those that are good. See, they're really despises of those that are good, man. That's why they killed the prophets, man. They killed the prophets because they were good. The law is just and good. But a lot of people hate the law. Read on what you got. It says traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. A lot of people love pleasures more than they love God. They love the temporary pleasures more than they love God. Okay, go ahead. It says Proverbs chapter 8, verse number 36. Go ahead. It says, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. If All, oh, go ahead. if you sin again, nah, finish that out, my bad. It says Proverbs 8, 36, but he that sinneth against me Wrong is his own soul. All they that hate me love them. All them that hate God's laws and his commandments. You love them. You love sin. Right? Go ahead. Oh, that's it on that. Give me uh first Timothy chapter four verse one. Verse four. First Timothy chapter four verse one. Now the spirit speaketh expressly. That in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Go ahead. Give heed to seduce the spirits and doctrines of devils. A lot of people are read that from the top of your First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Give heed to seduce the spirits and doctrines of devils. A lot of people are giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. You're not caring about God's laws. You love doctrines of devils. You love being told that you can do what you want to do. You love being told that you can live in sin. You love being told that anybody can make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's doctrines of devils. That's not of the most high God. God gave uh, regulations. Hey, bro, come get that word right quick, bro. Right, God gave recommendations on how to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Right? He never just... He, if God just said, hey... I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create the Israelites and then not give them no law and commandments and just let them just do and I'm gonna judge them and kill them. No, that's not being judged. He's so gracious that he made the law for you niggas to keep so we can make it to the kingdom of heaven. But yet we still don't want to do it. We still want to do the things of the world. We don't want to do what God say do. We turned away from God. Why? Because the doctrines are dope. Bring that class to see verse 8 out. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 8. Oh, yeah. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. So the Bible says, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. That means, guess what? The trash can can float if you put it up at 2 a.m. in the morning. That's philosophies, man. 
Two cells can turn into three cells. If you lose, if you lose one kidney, you would die. That's philosophies, man. But we got to start looking at the philosophies of the Bible, what God said to do. That's why He said, "Beware lest anybody spoils you through philosophy." Go ahead. And it said, "In vain deceit, in vain deceit, lies." Right. Go ahead. After the tradition of men, traditions of men. Not Christ. Go ahead. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. A lot of things in the last yeah, days are not it, after right. Christ. A lot of things are not after Christ. A lot of things in this world is of the devil. It's not of Christ. But people don't realize that they're living in the last days. Bring that Revelation chapter 21 and verse 7 out. Revelation 21 and verse 7. Bring this out. It's Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. Bring it out. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. See? And it's the thing. The Bible says, He that overcometh shall what? Inherit all things. It's, if you overcome it to the end, you're going to inherit all things that is written in this book. Go ahead. And I will be his God. And he's going to be our God. Read. And he shall be my son. Read. But the fearful, but the fearful people, the people that don't fear God, read, and unbelievers, unbelievers, right, read, and the abominable, abominations, read, and murderers, murderers, people that hate their brothers, people that, uh, people that literally kill their people, read, and whoremongers, all whoremongers, hey sisters, hey sis, sis, y'all come get that word right quick. Y'all come get that word. One scripture. Y'all come this way. Hey, all right. Keep going. And sorcerers. And all sorcerers. All you magic, black magic, crystal. Uh, uh, like me and Olight like, say so you like to go to the room and smoke your weed and float up in the air. Yeah. The Lord said he got a special place for you too. Read on. And idolaters. All idolaters. Go ahead. And all liars, all people that lie on this Bible, all people that lie, just a little tiny lie, little tiny white lie, go ahead. Shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. You're going to burn in the lake of fire. And that's coming in these last days, man. Give me, uh, give me, go ahead. Which is the second death. That's the second death. Some people already died and it's gonna wake up as eternal damnation, eternal death. Right. It's some people that died in sin, man. That's scary. Yeah. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse number 9. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 9. Bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And that's why we're trying to come out here because Christ came and set the way for the sinners. He didn't come for the godly. He didn't come for the, uh, the self-will. He didn't come for, guess what, the righteous. He came for sinners, man. And that's why we're trying to tell the sinners that you that Christ led a way to show us that you can do it too, man. But this is what the Bible says. If you don't want to repent in these last days, it says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolatry, what? nor adultery, what? nor effeminate, nor abuses of themselves with mankind, what? nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. They're not going to inherit the kingdom of God, man, because you can't live in sin and make it to the kingdom of heaven. Right. We have to put that old man away, right? Like Christ said in the book of Matthew, chapter 23. Don't be as described as the Pharisees, man, because they're hypocrites, man. They shut the kingdom of heaven up. They shut the kingdom of heaven up. They constantly point their fingers at sinners and condemn them to hell. But literally, they don't even know that they're not even going in their cells. It's made for the sinners, man. This gospel is made for the sinners, man. Give me chapter, Matthew chapter 24 and verse number 37, man. Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. Bring it out. Then shall the righteous. I mean, yeah. Then shall the righteous answer him. Oh, wrong one. Matthew 24, verse 37. And it says, But as the days of Noah were, 
so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. He said, as for the days of Noah were, so shall coming of the Son of Man be. Right, we're out here building a spiritual art. We got on that art, Lord willing, man. Right, this truth is that rock. This truth is that art. And we're trying to build off of it. We're building every day, putting in different planks of wood, right? But he said, as them days were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And we pray that we are faithful and to be able to escape. Read. That's right. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. The days before the flood, they were eating and drinking. The same thing that they're doing right now. Read. Mary and giving in marriage. Marrying, and we and we know that sex is marriage. They were having sex and literally marrying, giving in marriage. Read. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, man. Right? And then when the Lord pops that next seal off, man, and these prophets get shut up, that's us entering into the ark, man. We go. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. And we don't know when Christ is coming, but we know that he's going to take all the sinners out that don't repent, man. And that's what we're trying to tell y'all this right here, and I'm going to end up. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, man. That's all we're trying to get people to do is repent, man. That's it. That's all we're trying to get you to do is repent. We don't want your money. We don't want none of your goods. We don't want none of that. We just want you to repent, man. Right. See what you got. It says, Matthew 4 and 17. Bring it out. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Christ, when he came on the scene, he was teaching repentance. He wasn't tearing the people down. He was teaching repentance, man. And that's what we got to be out here teaching. Repentance. Repentance. Repentance, repentance, repentance. To get the sinners to convert and come back to what? God's laws. One last one. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7, man. This we trying to get them to do to come back. Because the loss is your heritage, man. Your heritage is not chicken watermelon. The loss is your heritage, man. Else you be the set apart. Since Psalm 19 and 7, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. And the wise people, guess what? Guess what? The law of the Lord is perfect. It's going to convert your soul, man. Lord willing that your soul be converted back to the most high God, man, that your name be found in that book of life. With that, I'm going to give all honor and glory to you. I will. Show me how it's shot. That's my time.